Hey guys, this is CPR of the Side Chat Crew. This is a video tutorial on how to customize your controls on the PC version of Genshin Impact. On the console versions and mobile versions of Genshin Impact, you won't be able to customize your controls. Right now, there is no way to customize your controls in-game, but if you're on the PC version of Genshin Impact, you'll be able to customize your controls using DS4 Windows. First, you'll need to download DS4 Windows. A quick Google of DS4 Windows or going to ds4windows.com will get you there. Click on the Download Now button and then you'll be sent to a GitHub site where you'll download the latest version. For this video, it's version 1.4.52. Install it. Install the necessary drivers for PS4 controllers or 360 controllers, run it, and then you'll be met with this window. Great. Set that aside and grab an image of the Genshin Impact PC controller layout. Or, just look at this one. Pull it up on your phone, or use a second screen to bring it up so you can refer back to it when you're changing your controls. Nice. Now that you have DS4 Windows up, and a default layout for the controls, let's change the controls. Plug in your preferred controller. For me, I have a PS4 controller connected via micro USB to USB to my computer. You'll be met with this screen on DS4 Windows. Click the drop down menu on the selected profiles at the right and click on new profile. I've already completed my Genshin profile named and saved it already, but we'll be making yours right now. Depending on what controller you'll be using, your layout of controller will pop up and you'll be able to configure your controller scheme that will be reflected in Genshin Impact. Don't be worried if your controller looks like a 360 controller and you're using a PS4 controller, it's okay. Pull up your Genshin Impact image and have them side by side to easily check which controls you'll want during the game. For example, a lot of people may want the X button to be the normal attack button. In Genshin Impact, it's the circle button. In DS4 Windows, click the X button and it'll wait for you to prompt what button you want to replace it with. This window will pop up and it's essentially the same thing even though it looks like a 360 controller. A would be X, B would be circle, Y would be triangle, and so on. This window is asking you what you want to exchange the selected button with. So we'll be exchanging the X button on the PS4 controller for the B button, which is also the circle button. Click the B button. You can see the X button is now the B button, and the circle button is also the B button. So you'll need to remap the circle button with the X button. Do the same process by clicking the circle button on the PS4 layout and then clicking the A button on the 360 controller window that pops up to remap it to the X button. BAM! Another remap. Now you've learned to remap buttons. Remap all the buttons you need to for Genshin Impact. I'll insert my profile map for Genshin Impact at the end of the video. Create a profile name for your Genshin profile and save it at the top left of the DS4 window. Then, click the controller tab at the top left to move back to your controller list. Select the profile you've just saved for your controller by clicking the Selected Profile drop-down menu and then clicking that profile. Now, it's not that simple as booting up Genshin Impact and then playing with the controls. Genshin Impact's program actually takes priority and then overrides your controls. To stop this from happening, head over to the Settings tab of DS4 Windows. You're going to want to make sure that the Hide DS4 Controller option is checked. You'll get an administrative prompt screen to allow DS4 Windows to run. Allow it, and it'll let you hide your DS4 controllers so games won't detect it. If other programs and games won't detect your DS4 controller, you'll be able to use your customized profile to use your controls without having them overridden. You may get this warning error. This may be because you have Steam up, Uplay up, or any other programs that may be using your controller activity. If all else you know is exited, and you're still getting this warning error, you need to go to your task manager. Go to the services tab and search for NB container local system. You'll need to right click the service and stop the service. Don't worry, completely harmless to do this. With this and all other programs using your DS4 controller exited, you'll need to uncheck and then recheck the hide DS4 controller again, and make sure no warning errors come up. If no warning errors come up, you'll be good to play Genshin Impact with your customized controls. Boot up Genshin Impact finally and enjoy the game. Do be noted that the controller button prompts will not be reflected in the game. So if Genshin Impact is telling you to press R1 button to sprint, it'll be whatever you mapped it to.
that's it for this video. I hope this tutorial really helped you out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button, and let me know what you would like to see in the next video. Until next time, see ya!